Hey, it's Katherine Ewing here from Emotional Freedom at Last. Thanks for taking the time to stop by. I wanted to share a few thoughts with you today and an opportunity that I hope you'll be as excited about as I am. So as you know, my business is Emotional Freedom at Last, and I uh, am known as the Sacred Heart Alchemist and also the Emotional Freedom Catalyst. And what that means is that I help my clients, uh, mostly women, but some awakening men, to really heal the patterns of pain and wounding and emotional constriction that they have been carrying, certainly through this lifetime and perhaps through other lifetimes. Oh, look, there's a horse coming up behind me in the picture. How cool is that? <laughs> so anyway, uh, as you can see, I'm outside in a beautiful setting and I thought this would be a great opportunity to share uh, my news with you. So one of the things that I've been noticing a lot, not only with my clients, but with my colleagues, with my friends, and even in my own life, is that certain energies have really been coming to the surface more, um, re uh, more frequently and with more intensity over the recent time period and for me it's been very intense for about the last six weeks it's been a roller coaster for a number of years now but the last six weeks have been particularly intense and there are a lot of sort of um, astrological and numerological and cosmic reasons for that that we don't have time to go into today but you may be noticing that your um, emotional body it really feels like it's all over the place, like you're sort of on an emotional roller coaster. Sometimes you might know what the things are that are creating that kind of um, roller coaster or tsunami experience for you. And other times you may really have no idea what's going on and why you're feeling things so intensely. And if you're anything like me, um, you may be processing energies that aren't even yours and again that's a whole nother topic but just know that there may be things going on that you're processing that aren't your um, personal energies so I'm hearing a lot of people who are feeling anxiety who are maybe even feeling some depression or just sort of a sense of being out of control with their emotions the other thing that's coming up a lot especially for women is this belief system that contains you know several different thoughts and that might be I'm not enough I'm not good enough I'm not worthy I'm not deserving um, I'm not lovable right all of those sort of I'm not statements are really being forced to the surface now and although it's really difficult um, from a higher spiritual perspective it's a good thing it's coming to the surface so that it can be healed and released. You know, I call it pumping the our uh, emotional septic tank, right? We're really at this point now where it's um, imperative upon us to clear the old, dense, heavy energies, the old energetic patterns um, that are holding us back from stepping into our brilliance and who we came here to be because we didn't come here to be miserable and to suffer and to keep repeating old challenging um, self-sabotaging patterns right we really came here to step into our divinity our gifts our brilliance the truth of who we are as spiritual beings who are here with something very important to do so what I wanted to share with you today is that I have a free teleclass coming up on September 1st that I would, um, where I will be talking more in depth about all of these things and in particular what you might do in your own life to uh, manage the emotions that may be all over the place, understand what's happening a little bit more deeply and come away uh, with some tools and techniques at the end of 75 minutes that you can use to make this process that we're all going through a little bit easier. So again, the teleclass is on September 1st and this is 2015 and it's called Three Essential Steps to Embody Your Emotional Freedom and to Learn to Love Yourself Unconditionally. I know that's a mouthful, but it really is what I wanted to share with people. And you can go to um, the link uh, attached to my website and it's www.emotionalfreedomatlast.com dot com forward slash the word three spelled out t-h-r-e-e -E dash 
essential, E-S-S-E-N-T-I-A-L dash steps, S-T-E-P-S uh, forward slash. So www.emotionalfreedomatlast.com forward slash three dash essential dash steps uh, forward slash. So if you are experiencing and resonating with anything that I said, or if you know um, anyone, a friend, a sister, a mother, a colleague, right, a neighbor, anybody who you might know who's really going through some challenging times, and they may be, um, again, fairly new, or it may be something that someone has been experiencing for a long time and she's just ready to let it go, whether it's being an anxiety or depression or self-sabotage or self-doubt or critical, you know, critical thoughts, just, you know, that negative voice in her head that she's so tired of living with, please share this information because, um, the call will be transformational. I'll be giving you information, but it's not so much about the information as it is about the transformation. We're all on information overload, and so I really want you to have an experience rather than just more information to you know process. So again, Katherine Ewing here, EmotionalFreedomAtLast.com, Sacred Heart Alchemist, uh, emotional freedom catalyst and I so look forward to seeing you and anybody else you might want to invite on the call on September 1st all right until then you take good care of yourself all love bye now